I'm Tim Sweeney. I'm the founder of Epic Games, and uh, I wrote the original Unreal Engine, and now I uh, oversee the company's overall direction. The Unreal Engine has gone through four generations now. You know, it started as a hardcore PC gaming engine, and then it expanded um, to console, and now, in more recent years, to mobile hardware as the hardware capabilities have caught up. Um, and it's really astonishing now, on our fourth generation, that you can build an incredibly high-end application or game. Um, and run it on absolutely every platform, uh, ranging from PC to console to mobile, and it um, brings the same feature set and same capabilities everywhere. Well, the Unreal Engine has been used for a wide variety of games, uh, everything from Borderlands to uh, Bioshock uh, to Mortal Kombat, um, widely different genres, but they have a common technology base. Well, the Unreal Engine provides both a really state-of-the-art set of uh, graphical and uh, engine capabilities, and also a really powerful tool set that enables a team of developers to really maximize their productivity and put all of the best of their efforts into creating an impressive game as opposed to reinventing the wheel. Uh, there are over 100 man years uh, worth of development effort invested in the engine. So for the past few years, Epic has uh, always pushed the state of the art forward by creating a new technology demo. Um, that started with the Samaritan demo, which showed off the engine's character um, and reflection capabilities. And then we followed it up with the Elemental demo, uh, you know, with a fire giant inside a volcano, um, showing off really next generation rendering and lighting capabilities. Um, and now we followed that up with the Infiltrator demo, which shows uh, just a kind of a proof of concept of what a next generation game can look like with just insanely high detailed characters and animation and very rich, huge environments. One of the really important capabilities of the game engine is the ability to display very accurate re recreations of real life scenes. Um, and we put together the realistic rendering demo to show um, what a physically accurate scene looks like with the proper reflections and the proper lighting and proper light fall off um, aimed at simulating reality exactly as opposed to creating a fantastical sci-fi environment. The key to creating these realistic scenes is this physically based lighting model um, where uh, instead of uh, artists or programmers just designing custom lighting models, uh, we actually use IES profiles, which is the Institution of Illumination Engineering Standard um, for representing the appearance of a light. And so when you go through a professional lighting vendor's catalog, you can actually get a profile uh, which we can use to accurately simulate the appearance of that uh, real world light in a 3D engine. And by doing that and building a scene out of these realistic lights, you can have a scene that captures the same actual behavior as the real world. The engine supports lots of different genres of games, and if you want to use the engine's full 3D capabilities to create a complex 3D world with um, you know, physically advanced and realistic objects, you can do that, and then you can constrain the player's movement to two dimensions, and you can have a 2D platformer that brings the best of that genre together with the best of the engine's 3D capabilities. Modern games require really advanced uh, special effects, and we have a very thorough framework for that. Um, we built this uh, one effects level to demonstrate many of the different effects capabilities in the engine, um, spanning realistic particle systems with physical simulation and collision on the particles, um, volumetric effects, and other really advanced um, things that you would classify as special effects in a movie. Since the very early days, Epic has always worked very closely with NVIDIA. Um, and out of that partnership, we've uh, created a huge amount of base technology, um, which is advanced game development. Um, the Samaritan demo, the Elemental demo, the Infiltrator demo, it all arose from collaboration between NVIDIA and Epic, um, you know, asking ourselves, what can we do to push the technology to the maximum? Um, and now recently we've worked with NVIDIA to uh, bring graphics up to the next level on the Tegra hardware, utilizing really the most impressive and advanced um, GPU hardware and a graphics stack, uh, you know, software stack ever created for mobile hardware. Um, and you know, optimize the engine to bring it to the its absolute apex of its capabilities. And the result is really unprecedented and, uh, and impressive. I, I didn't think that we would be at this level on mobile for another three or four years. NVIDIA has done a really amazing job with Tegra 5, um, both with the hardware and with the software stack on top of it. Um, and most importantly, the software runs full OpenGL um, on mobile hardware. You know, previously mobile chips had run OpenGL ES, which is kind of constrained, um, special version of OpenGL for mobile. Um, to go beyond that and have the full graphics API that's available on PC you know, and the highest end platforms available in the industry is just a breakthrough and enables us to bring graphics up to the next level in a sort of no compromises way. The Tegra hardware really makes enormous progress in hardware performance and also 
With full OpenGL, it knocks down the remaining major barrier between PC uh, level graphics and mobile level graphics. Um, from here onward, I think we're going to see the performance um, and feature gap between mobile and, uh, and PC and high-end gaming uh, continue to narrow to the point where the, the differences between the platforms really blur um, and you have a continuum of capabilities there as opposed to discrete levels of uh, dramatically different performance. I feel like the direction NVIDIA is saying here with Tegra 5 is the start of the next generation of mobile graphics. Um, you know, and from here forward, uh, we're just continuing to narrow the gap between the highest end graphics capabilities available on PC and the state of the art on mobile. Um, and it's going to be really exciting uh, to drive all of that forward and see a convergence uh, over the coming years.